Swordfish and Jacqueline Gongs, asparagus is a spring vegetable that's nutrient packed with fiber, folate, vitamins A, C, E, and K. The antioxidant phytonutrients found in asparagus may have some protective benefits against certain cancers. Asparagus can be prepared a variety of different ways. You can broil it, bake it, saute it. I personally love it under the broiler with a squeeze of lemon. But today we're gonna to be preparing something a little bit different in a regatta style that adds a delicious crunch that will definitely appeal to those looking for a little bit of texture. Our ingredients today are super simple. We're gonna be starting off, of course, with fresh asparagus. I have a lemon, we're gonna be using the zest. I have some parsley here, two cloves of garlic, olive oil, and of course, we can't have oregano without bread. So this is really easy. I just took a few pieces of bread that I had in the freezer, and it's about three ounces of spare bread pieces. And we're just gonna pop the bread in the oven for about five minutes just to dry it out a little bit. And then of course, we have some oregano that we're gonna be adding into our mix. Now the only tool, that the extra tool I should say, that you'll need today is a food processor. If you don't have a food processor to prepare this recipe, you could easily use a knife and just chop up all of the ingredients for the topping. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we have all our ingredients washed and ready to go. Remember that anytime you're working with vegetables, you always wanna make sure you wash them well under cold frying water. So I went ahead and patted them dry and just laid them onto a baking sheet covered in aluminum foil. And I did spray the bottom of my pan with some cooking spray. So we've got that going. Now it's time to get our ingredients into our food processor. So this is kind of like drama free, you know, just everything goes in there. A Little bit of parsley, you've got your garlic in there there and your breadcrumbs just break it apart before you're putting them in it'll just make it easier when you process it so everything goes in half a teaspoon of oregano goes right in and a little bit of olive oil to bring everything together a little less than a tablespoon I would say and then uh, we'll give this a pulse okay oh don't forget your lemon zest goes right in Now we're ready to rock and roll here. So pop the top on and pop it. All right, let's check on it. Okay, I think that looks pretty good to me. So now, once you've got that all pulsed up and ready to go, your asparagus needs a little TLC. So you want to make sure that you drizzle a little bit of olive oil over, not much and you want to season it with a little salt just a little sprinkle over the top and now we have our crumb topping that we can put right over just be careful um, you know putting your hand into your food processor so just use like a little spoon to kind of help it along so your topping just goes right on top even evenly and i have my oven preheating at 450 degrees we're gonna pop that in for about 10 minutes or so. And then towards the end, just put your broiler on for another minute just to crisp the top. Here, oh, this looks so good. So let's just plate this. And after we got it plated, I wanna go ahead and squeeze some fresh lemon over the top to really pull it all together. This is such an easy and delicious way to enjoy your asparagus, um, especially for people that may not love veggies as much or kind of struggling to get them in. It's totally okay to dress them up with uh, either seasonings, herbs, a little bit of breadcrumbs. Um, even for my kids, I'll put some Parmesan cheese over their veggies um, so that they're more likely to eat it. So let's have a look. Let me just move this tray here. And doesn't that look beautiful? Wow, they look great. Don't forget that little squeeze of lemon right over. And you have a veggie dish that's great for entertaining or just a weeknight. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this asparagus dish and I'll see you next time.